Let's start by creating a file dot called main uh, main in which we will declare the app, and uh, it will be basically the heart of our application. Just resizing my windows here. And then we're going to go to our project and create a file named main.py. Okay, so in this part I'm going to import from Kiwi app. So I would say from Kiwi.app import app. And I would declare the class tutorial that inherits from app, which will be the basic app. And then I'm going to create an instance of it and run it. This will give us all that we need to run a basic app in Kiwi. I'm going to save the file and, and I'm going to run it. Okay, so as you can see, we now have a tutorial app. It doesn't have anything in there, but that, that's just the first step. Let's say what it has in there right now. There are several ways of declaring content in here. So as you can see here, it's explicit in the py file. Then we can use builder load string load file and using a kb file with the name of the app, which is my favorite. So let's just go ahead and do it. So there's a method called the build method. It takes an argument self because it's a part of the class and then it returns the root widget which is going to be the the main widget of the class uh, of the app in this part we're going to use a label that has a certain text everything that is passed in between uh, the parentheses of an instance is the keyword argument and it's going to give the value to a certain property for example the label has a text property that we can give a value to by assigning a keyword argument to it so for example it could be hello YouTube and then this is going to be return a label which has hello YouTube I didn't import the label so I'm going to import it from kiwi.uix.label import label let's go and I'm going to run the app as you can see it now has a label it says hello YouTube okay so this this way is a little bit both I have to import the app and then I have to say that it will be linked uh, what I wanted to return, right? So there's there are easier ways to do it. I'm going to use the following one right now. That is from kpv.lang.builder import builder. What this builder object is going to do is going to analyze a certain string or a file, and it's going to return us the main widget. So for example, I will declare a variable named content. As a string, and it has the following stuff in it. It has a label that has a text that says hello from content string. Then I'm going to say that it's going to return builder.load string, and I'm going to tell it to load the string that's called content. I will save and run it again. So as you can see it now says hello from content string. There is a yet another way to do it, that is by using a KB file. And we can just say from builder load load file and I can pass it a file name which would be content.kb. So I will now create a file called content.kb and I'm going to say that it has a label with certain text that says hello from content.kb save and run alright so as you can see I am now, now loading from there there is another way to do this which would be if, if I called my class tutorial it will be automatically linked to a file named tutorial.kb so I can just say pass right here remove this and I can create a file called tutorial.kb and this one 
will be linked to that automatically. So I can say label text and it has hello from tutorial.kb. I don't even have to explicitly declare the relationship. I can just run it. And you can see hello from content.kb. I didn't save something, this one right here, okay. Hello from tutorial.kb.